For me, Twitter is the number one tool for finding both your customers and people who influence the decisions of your customers online. Using tools like Twitter search and Topsy, you can find people that are looking for your product and you can communicate with them directly. So today I'm going to show you both how Twitter advanced search works and I'm going to show you how Topsy works. Visit your Twitter account and type your search query into the search bar at the top. So I'm going to be looking for Facebook ads. As you can see, it's showing me lots of results from various users, but it's only showing me the top tweets by default. If I click on all, I can see tweets from every user, whether they're popular on Twitter, whether they've been retweeted or not. Now this is still a bit messy. I'm looking for people that might need help with their Facebook advertising. So I'm going to go into advanced search on the left hand side. Now here I can get a little bit more technical. So I want people that are using the exact phrase Facebook ads. I don't want Facebook and ads to appear some in different areas of the tweet. I want people that are looking for Facebook ads help, but help can appear anywhere in the tweet. It doesn't have to be part of the phrase. And I want people that are asking a question. So now if I search, I should get better results. Again, I'm going to click on all. Now I can see I'm getting a huge amount of results from this guy, Phil Glutting, and it's the same tweet he's sharing over and over again. So if I eliminate the word struggling from my search, I should get rid of those tweets. So again, if I click inside the box, and if I type the minus symbol and put in the word struggling and as you can see I've got it inside speech marks and then I'll click search again. Always it brings you back to the top tweet so again I need to click on all. So now I've got a far more qualified search and straight away I can see a few people that need some help. So here, for example, this person, and they've shared an image and they're having a bit of problem with their Facebook ads. Now, unfortunately, this isn't in English, so I can't really help that person. And here's another example. Friends in Film is looking for someone to help them with Facebook ads. Um, they are tweeting an individual, so they've probably already got an answer. So there's no point me pursuing that leads. And again, here's someone else that's looking for help. So this is a problem I might be able to solve. If I look into it, I might be able to come up with an answer for her. And although she may not avail of my services in the future, she could become a strong brand advocate recommending me to other people. The Topsy is very similar to Twitter advanced search, except I can break down my tweets into everything, links, tweets, photos, videos, or influencers. I'll show you influencers in a moment. So here I would type in my search term, and as I want the exact phrase, Facebook ads, I can type that in again and click search. So initially it's bringing in all tweets that it finds that include the terms Facebook ads. Now what I really like about this is it's really easy for me to find tweets that are recent on that topic, so within the first hour. Now I can set a specific time range within Twitter advanced search, but I just like the interface on Topsy better. So it's a lot easier for me to choose some dates that I want to see tweets from. So I could go back to January of this year and see them between the 1st of January and maybe the 1st of April. Now if I click on influencers, I get to see people that Topsy have decided are influential about the topic of Facebook ads. So these may be people that it would be interesting for me to follow in order to find out about my Facebook advertising, or maybe they'd be more likely to share my posts on Facebook advertising because it's a topic that they're interested in. And similar to Twitter, there is an advanced search function. So if I click on this cog and click advanced search, I can use this to search the same way that I did within Twitter Advanced Search. 